Hello everybody, it's the Centralized Dave with another Luxo update. And the last update that I've made was met with uh, <clears throat> quite an interest. And there is a lot of traffic coming through a YouTube search, X search. People are searching about content about Luxo right now. But what overwhelmed me was that it was not just the uh, uh, desperate lux of community that is trying to find something that will give them hope that uh, their project is not going to, to zero and staying there but uh, there are also quite few newcomers coming uh, and it makes sense uh, because um, Luxo is back to uh, cycle lows um, the new token the, the native token lux is actually in the all time lows but uh, I'm always considering the previous token that existed on Ethereum, Lux E, and that token's uh, cycle low was three dollars, which we by by the way retested today. So we were at the cycle lows today, and at the same time, we have Bitcoin at sixty six k. Okay, how many excess from the cycle lows? We have Ethereum at 3200, how many excess since the cycle lows, et cetera. And you have that, and then you have few projects that are on a cycle lows. And uh, people are, well, logically uh, researching those and, it, and are trying to find out, like, is could this be the place where I can rotate some of my profits? And some of the people are actually, seems to seem to actually really do so. Uh, and I'm, it's heartwarming to see uh, those of you here as well today. Well, regardless of what your story is, I would like to share with you a few updates. I have quite a lot that I could say. I will not have the space to say everything here. Uh, I don't want this video to be 30 minutes long again. So let's start with the most important. First things first, the liquid update. They've made a, the liquid is a third party uh, staking service that uh, is the main reason for this mess. Again, when I'm talking the mess, this is the Luxos chart. I'm going to turn off the volume so you can see it more clearly. And as you can see, this is the uh, this is the cycle low for the native token, Lux. And yeah, this is uh, this is the price today. But uh, the the old token that existed on Ethereum is no longer updated. Okay, so never mind this end of the chart. You know, it, it ended the twenty five of of November. But as you can see, the cycle low was here in June at three dollars. June twenty twenty two, mind you, not the last year June. So that's why. That's what I mean when I say the mess, okay? And the main reason the responsible for this mess is that there is a third party staking service that happened to misallocate over 1% of the circulating supply. And uh, actually then uh, had to or decided to hold the user's withdrawals. So now 2 million lakhs is stuck there of the users users lux 2 million lux and mind you that the the circulating supply of lux lux so is currently over 30 million so just think how big of a percentage of that is is it and people are stuck there now for well literally months and yeah they don't still know what exactly is going to happen although the uh, the situation is being uh, clarified as we go and one of the clarification is this update, which says basically that the liquid managed to reimbuse 50% of the misallocated lux. So now it's not just 320,000 um, lux, so that is on stake, but it's now 160,000 only, only, right? Um, and they're trying to work the with some uh, undisclosed negotiations um they're trying to find partner 
to help them to um, be able to deposit the, the remaining 160,000 lakhs so they could let their users to withdraw fully. However, they're also projecting the scenario that if they are unsuccessful to do so, they will let their users to withdraw about 92% of their respective holdings. And it's going to happen in roughly two months once they confirm that this is indeed what they're doing. They have not confirmed that yet either. They're still trying to negotiate and they're, they're still trying to find a way how to restore all the misallocated locks. Now, I would like to talk to you about both of these scenarios. Um, the scenario number one, if they find all the mis if they find a way how to deposit 160,000 lakhs and they let the users to withdraw fully. If that happens, then in one beautiful day, there is going to be users that will, the Luxo users that will um, um, get their altogether 1.9 or actually 2.2 million lakhs tokens. And imagine that these users, these people, they've been stuck while, as I just mentioned you, while Bitcoin did access, Ethereum did access, everything did access. They've been stuck in this during a huge bull run when some projects like Injective Protocol, AI tokens, Bitcoin went into new all-time highs. The new all-time high for Lux E was $42, mind you, 10x from where we are. So these people that many of them don't want to have anything to do with Luxo again, they're not only lost their faith and, and hope, but their nerves and their mind, and they just... Uh, when you mention Luxo in front of them in the future, uh, they're just going to get a very strong heartbeat and they will probably just leave the room. So they will dump. Once they get these 2 million Lux, after all of what they had to go through, many of them, I don't know how many, but I estimate hundreds of thousands of Lux will be dumped at the market price. So this this should be uh, should be considered as a fat token release but with the with the clause that this token release is released into the hands of the desperate people that many are just done with lux of a lifetime so this is a dangerous actually token release so I personally, I'm not looking forward to the day when all of this is going to be um, given back to the users. However, the moment these people dump, that's what I believe is going to really, the, the recovery will start. But I don't know how far we are from there. I really don't know. Such a hard, so hard to estimate. This was just the first scenario that I talked to you about. Let's talk about the second scenario. So in this second scenario, this token unlock will not happen uh, before two months time. Um, um, yeah, also as a part of this second scenario, we have a, a big fat validators exiting because they have to, uh, they have to update, implement smart contract changes because they have to up the, yeah, change the smart contract to be able to let the users withdraw not their full amount, but only 85%. And they're going to have to um, exit their validators. So 50,000 validators to be exited. And uh, hope, for, well, some of them or many of them will come back but they will still be exited, you know. And um, that itself is, is something that is also worsening the fundamentals for the Luxo network. Because 
there are 137,000 active validators today. What portion is 50,000 of that? Like it's over 35%, right? Is it somewhere around 40% out of the top of my head? So it's a huge number percentage-wise of the validators that will exit, many of them only briefly, many of them will re-enter, but I don't know how many and nobody knows how many. And we all know that in this case, in this scenario, the decentralization of the network is just going to drop. And that is worsening fundamentals, briefly and also long-term. Because after that, like, when will we see, again, 137,000 validators? Well, will we ever see then 137,000 validators? I am a believer, so I could say that yes, but do I know that? I don't. Um, so exiting the validators is a dangerous game. Um, so that was about the second uh, possible scenario uh, uh, related to the liquid update. In the both of these scenarios, I should also, also mention that this misallocated 320,000 lakhs is, to my knowledge, um, just burnt because it's inaccessible, it's misallocated, inaccessible. So there is a token burn that happened on Laksu of over 1% one, one of the circulating supply is not little. So the price uh, at such a token burn has to jump. And I'm not sure the market priced it in yet because I think the market wants to price in all the negative stuff first and then, but this is, as you can see, the complexity of the situation is just uh, like, so yeah. Another thing that I want to talk to you about guys is that uh, let's have a brief look at the, we've been looking the last update, we've been looking at the on-chain analytics and um, uh, I can pretty much confirm what I told you the last time that the network activity, as you can see, is higher, is way higher than it was in December. Now I can confirm also the new accounts, also the new transactions. Oh my God, the new transactions are... However, um, also what I can see just... Uh, very, very tiny, that it's still in a very tiny way, it's still decreasing, but in a very, very tiny way, in a very slow rate, what I would say. But the new transactions are still like 10 times higher than they were on December. Um, so the on-chain analytics, like um, they just tell me that this is new ETH transfers. This is a, this is an analytic that they've added, right? Was it the here the last time? I didn't notice it. The number of new smart contracts. Yeah, it's there is not a moving there is not a simple moving average uh, option. So you have to get some kind of an average reading yourself. And it's very hard because uh, it's volatile. And, uh, but it's still somewhat higher than it was in December. So this on-chain analytics doesn't tell me like the network is, is going to die or is dying. Um, no, no, it does not. Um, but uh, what I wanted to tell you as uh, something very important, because in the last update, I was on multiple occasions, I was saying, uh, if anybody knows um, what is the Laxo Foundation 
address and how to check how much they're selling or whether they're selling because you know that's like everybody's been asking all this time here everybody's been asking like who is selling all the time and i was trying to find out the address of the luxo foundation and i managed to finally find it um it's in the first place it's written also in a medium uh actually last year's um article in the article from 18th of April 2023, there you have bluntly written, this is the uh, foundation's uh, address, Luxo Foundation. Uh, also, the tokenomics went for this model, so the foundation uh, got 11.1 million lux. Um, now, I found uh, lots of... Um, or, or actually, there was a very interesting post from W from DW OPE. Um, like this is very valuable here. What this guy has written here, um, according to his analysis, uh, Luxo Foundation over the past year or so, because the the mainnet was released on uh, on May last year, so it's roughly a year now. Okay. A little less than a year, but roughly. Uh, and under his analysis, they've only spent for development six hundred thousand lux. Um, I went to check it myself. What he's actually saying is that um, uh, they also allocated out of this eleven point one million, they allocated one million to gas subsidiaries of the first year. Well, this is something I was not able to confirm myself. So this is his analysis here. And nobody objected there. And Fabian himself like said, like, thank you for, for writing this. So um, I went to check their address. As you can see, their address, the address of Luxo Foundation is... This is the address. Yeah, I wasn't sure for a brief second, but this is the address. As you can see, there is no, not much going on for 10 months. Okay, so you can track that they've sent this 11.1 .1 million lux that they got at the mainnet. They send it to the place called Genosis Safe. And here in the safe, it's still over 9.5 million left. So, yeah. I can, uh, if it's true that 1 million was uh, sent to the sub uh, um to gas, as the, as the guy said here, to gas subsidiaries of the first year, if that's true, then yes, lacks of foundation only sold 600,000 lakhs so far for one year um to fund its uh, its uh, to fund itself and they still have at their disposal over 9.5 million lakhs but from this they still also have to subsidize some parties but uh, it's uh, but anyway we can say that out of the 11.1 1 million lux that the Luxo Foundation has gotten a year ago, there is still over 9.5 million left, okay? And so that tells us that if the rate of spending is about 1.5 million, but again, if the price is, is lower than it was um, when they were selling over the past year, but uh, okay, let's let's not add complexity to this calculation. Let's just say that they spent one uh, one point six. Let's let's round the number a little bit. One point six million per year, and they still have nine point five million left. So, well, at the top of my head, to make some brief calculation, you discover that at this rate. There's still around eight years 
right? Like eight years left. So in my humble opinion, like based on my analysis, the lack of foundation selling or funding is not a danger to the um, to the project and to the price unless they're like going to sell now when the when the, there is no buying or there is not that much buying power unless they're not smart with their sales uh they i believe they 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 are learning from the ethereum foundation which is excellent with their, the ethereum foundation also found itself from the token sales many projects do and ethereum foundation is notoriously known for selling at local tops so <laughs> Um, I no longer worry for the funding of Lux, of the Luxo, and I don't think it's a danger to the to the project. What I think is a danger is what I said to you already. The exiting of the validators in this case, in the scenario number two, exiting of the validators. Um, it's. It's scary, to say at least, and it's damaging. It's damaging further. Um, and another thing that is very scary in case of the first scenario that they're going to unlock the tokens for the people to, to just send, to give them back. Uh, then the token unlock, as I call it, is also very scary to me. Um, that's, I believe I've covered everything before I conclude this video, I would like to uh, also give you my perspective on one very, very similar situation that I have experienced in my uh, in my uh, investment journey. And that is a situation with this token. It was called Alliance Block. And this token, guys, had, in my opinion, a very similar situation than Lux is having right now. And it had it right there. But don't be scared. I know this, this token went to zero. But it went to zero because the project rebranded there and released a new token with a new name. What I'm trying to tell you is that right here, uh, they faced a big trouble as well, like Luxo, because 11% of their supply that they delegated to their uh, to their partner BonQ um, as a collateral for our stable coins. Um, eleven percent of the circulating supply of their token of of Alliance Block, as it was called back then. Uh, their partner got hacked, and the hacker took control of eleven percent of the circulating supply. So what they've done that they froze all the trading, they took a sample and they redistributed the new rename rebranded uh, rebranded token into all the holders, all the addresses except the hackers. Address. So um, what happened with the price action? That's what's going to interest you the most. The, the price before this trouble began was 15 cents, as you can see. And once the new token started trading, the price went to 4.5 cents. So the token went... 70%, 70% down. After then, the, the situation was resolved. There was a 150% pump, but then it came back to the same lows. Those holes were held. And after some post-shock consolidation, it just went up very fast, actually. And it's continuing. So it did not destroy the project. It just literally pushed the project into a new era 
And I'm not sure if I would suggest that rebranding Luxo. I'm not sure. Um, or, or doing something so extreme there. But uh, I think that the, the price action would be similar to the Alliance block price action that I've just shown you. Right now, we're actually down 70%, guys, from the top, just like Alliance block did. <laughs> Isn't that a strange coincidence? And we're actually, this is uh, one of the stronger bounces that we've seen on this spiral down right now. If, if this price action is going to follow the alliance block or slash an, an extra price action, we are going to see 150% pump. Actually, I have this uh, this area a little too high now, I believe. I didn't I didn't expect we we're gonna to see it three point half dollars. So we could see at the resolution at the liquid resolution or past the liquid resolution shortly after that. We could see again eight point half dollar luxo. After that, we could see again the lows at which we are, um, but from there, that's where, after some time, months forward, if the, the, the overall market is not going to get into bear market, of course, um, that's where the real recovery probably is going to start. So these were my uh, closing thoughts for you. I hope that I update you. Uh, handsomely. Uh, thank you for showing up and all the new people and newcomers. Uh, it's heartwarming to see that. Uh, so yeah, love to have you.